Hey guys, um, <clears throat> what's going on? Uh, I know I haven't put a video up in a while. I've um, just been busy trying to sort things out and get stuff coming. So I just wanted to do a quick update video. Um, just been waiting for parts, money, and all the rest of the stuff to come in. But, uh, well, so a week ago now I had basically the majority of everything I need. I still need to go and get a couple of little bits and pieces. Um, but for the most part I've got the bulk of it so I can go ahead and uh, make a start on getting this video ready for you guys and getting it fitted to the car. So that way um, I can make a couple of small improvements and hopefully uh, you guys will be pretty stoked for it too, I mean I am. So without further ado, um, here it is. It's a uh, spark plug change. I'm just going to change plugs, leads. Uh, no, not, not really. Um, I've got a set of MSD street wire kit. Um, basically, I've already been through and opened all these by the way. Um, yeah, it's just a set of leads. They're not terminated on one end, if you can see it down there. Um, this end is terminated. Hopefully that'll go on the spark plug, I'm not sure. I've still got to do a bit of research. And then you get all these other, other rubber ends and crimp on connectors. And you go and make yourself a set of plug leads. Um, I've gotten them. I've got them. I still need to get another set of ends for them so that they'll go on to these. Now these are just second hand, but these are a set of LS1 ignition coils. The full set, second hand, they got looms, plugs, a bracket, everything I'm going to need, but there's a full set of them. Now LS1 coils are pretty good from factory. Fail. Yeah, the LS1 coils, pretty good from factory, I've got a full set of eight, so I've got two spares, I only need six of them, but, um, I know what you're thinking, well, your V6 won't run LS1 coils, it's a wasted spark system, yeah, it is, I know, um, but I got them, because I got this. Um, I got this. Oh, the I got this. Yeah. Let me just show you. So inside, I have a box of wires, full set, shitloads of them. I'm not looking forward to that part. Um, but this is the important piece to the puzzle. This is what I've been waiting for for ages. It is a new ECU. We've got two ECU connectors. The ECU unit itself. Uh, ECU Masters EMU. Pretty popular. Um, Support's a bit iffy at the moment, they are just getting started up, but it has a lot of options and features that I wanted that a lot of other ECUs don't offer. We've got a USB cable, packs of uh, 
I don't know what these are called. I can't remember. Uh, I do know them. I just can't think of their name right now. Two packs of them. A resistor. Two resistors. So two resistors for some particular reason. I'm sure that they have a purpose. Um, and yeah. So I'm going to be using the majority of these wires, or all of these wires, to wire this bad boy up. Um, I'm going to try and do a bit of a how-to um, on this. It's going to be my first how-to, so bear with me. I may skip some parts or, um, I don't know, maybe show too much that you don't really want to see. It may, it, a lot of it's going to be very tedious, soldering, heat shrinking, crimping, soldering, heat shrinking, crimping. So I'm probably not going to show that much of that side of it, but um, yeah, basically I'm going to do a how to rewire your engine for a standalone or how to wire up a standalone ECU and change over to sequential ignition and sequential injection because at the moment my current ECU is running batch fire and wasted spark. The wasted spark works and the batch fire works but I want to update it to something a bit more modern and this ECU has a whole bunch of features that I want like two-step launch control, traction control, uh, pit lane limiting, uh, it'll do boost control, flex fuel, I don't care about the flex fuel not really worried about the boost control either but it's nice to have it it's got a four bar built-in map and two ECU connectors a shitload of wires and basically it's gonna do everything that I wanted to hopefully it'll have a rolling anti-lag system and I'll be able to hook that up um, but it does sequential injection sequential injection up to six cylinders sequential ignition up to six cylinders or you can do wasted spark for 12 uh, it has outputs and inputs for multiple different things I uh, should be able to run both fuel pumps off it and just a host of a whole bunch of other things that well I want to use and for the price it it can't be that bad. I know a lot of other people are probably running one of these bad boys. Um, so I figured I'd give it a go. And like I said, for the price, it's got uh, probably twice of the the functionality is a lot of the other top main brand ECUs we've got at the moment. But yeah, so that's it. That's why um, you haven't really seen a video from me lately. Uh, I've just been working on trying to get that ECU. And then um, this last week I've spent getting the coils and leads and doing some research and working out how I'm going to wire it up, how it's going to work, how to set it up. Um, as far as tune settings go, I have a good idea of what they need to be at based off my previous tune. Oh, so I can import a lot of that stuff. Even if I don't copy and paste it, I can look at it and go, okay, this needs to be there, that's got to be there, etc, etc. Um, So yeah, I hope you guys are pretty keen for that, because I am. Um, I'm most keen for probably the smallest thing that this ECU can do of all, is just the two-step. But apart from that, um, stick around, stay tuned, watch this space. I'm going to make a start on getting this on the car probably in the next week or two so you'll see a video coming out then and yeah I'm gonna have a go at doing a how-to video on it I hope you guys like it if you want to see more or less or whatever shoot me in the comment shoot the comments down below 
I'll check it out, see what your guys' feedback is, and adjust accordingly. Um, I'm probably not going to do too many how-to videos because, I mean, they've been done to death. And I don't really feel like the stuff that I can do can sort of be copied or, you know, it really suits another application. Uh, if you do have something that I've done that you want to ask me about, whack it down in the comments below. I'll do my best to get to you. But until then, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video where we get this bad boy on the car. Bye.